what the Lion King teaches us about our identity in Christ. Emotionally stirring, richly drawn and beautifully animated, The Lion King is a pride within Disney's pantheon of classic family films. This animated feature follows the adventures of the young lion Simba, the heir of his father Mufasa's kingdom. Simba's wicked uncle Scar plots to usurp Mufasa's throne by luring father and son into a stampede of wildebeests. But Simba escapes, and only Mufasa is killed. Simba returns as an adult to take back his homeland from Scar with the help of his friends Timon and Pumbaa. The film's merits are nearly endless, but it also holds many foils to biblical truths. A prodigal son who returns home, the fight over good and evil, questioning purpose, sacrifice, and today's main topic, identity in Christ. Here's what the Lion King teaches us about our identity in Christ. That's not my father. It's just my reflection. No. Look hard. There's a moment in the movie where Rafiki shows up as Simba is struggling with his choice to leave the Pride Land, forced out much earlier by Scar, after bumping into Nala during his worry-free life with Pumbaa and Timon. In case you don't remember it, here's a clip. How can I go back? I'm not who I used to be. Remember who you are. You are my son. The last thing Mufasa says is so important. Remember who you are. You are my son. It parallels perfectly to our identity in Christ. God calls us back to him. When we make life-changing decisions that lead us in a direction he never intended for us, he waits patiently for us to realize the truth that our true self is waiting to be reclaimed, the self that God ordained for us to live out. Romans 8.29 says that he knew us from the foundation of the world. The message is simple. He's in you. Your DNA, your character, your total being is a reflection of God's image in a life meant to be different from the world, one that was tainted by sin but redeemed by Christ. What will you do with your life? The life God intended for you, unique in every way, there is no temptation known to man that God won't provide a way out. Take it. Pursue it. For Simba, two dear friends delivered a message of healing and restoration, Nala and Rafiki. They called forth his true identity, God's character in him. God can use anyone or any circumstance to call you back to him. Listen for that voice, that still small voice that may be the Holy Spirit, Rafiki in Simba's case. You may be in a place of complacency, all out rebellion, or just in a season of not knowing. It makes no difference. It only requires surrender to the truth that God will meet you right where you are, whether in the reflection of yourself or in the reflection of his son. The simple truth is, he's in you. <laughs>